Hello and welcome back to my channel. I'm Dina and today we are finishing up our Pokemon Sun and Moon Ultra Prism Booster Box opening. We've got the last nine packs sitting here waiting for us. Let's go ahead and grab those out and move this guy to the back. Alright, let's see how lucky we are with our last nine packs. So as usual, we're going to be doubling, tripling, quadrupling up on uh, many of these cards um, at this point, so might be flying through these depending on how many new cards we get. But as always, feel free to go back to part one if you'd like the slower and more detailed look at all of these guys. First up, we'll be starting with a Lickitung. Looks so happy. Then we have a really cute Weasel. And a Salandit. Looking mischievous. Aww, a bunch of Eevee. So cute. Then we have a Turtwig. Our reverse holo here is a Mount Coronet, which is an uncommon. And our rare in this pack, a Hippodon, or Hippodon, <laughs> regular rare. So I believe we've already got this guy in a reverse hollow rare. So even doubling up on some of the rares at this point. Leaf Energy's next. Then Unidentified Fossil. Electric Memory. And Looker. Okay, let me know if you get anything good with that code card there. And we're moving on to the second pack. More lol is our first card in this pack. Followed up by Piplup. Another Salandit. Execute. Yanma. <laughs> and a reverse hollow Salandit, and that is a common. A rare in this pack is going to be. Dun 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 dun. A Mo Rotom. Interesting. Okay. Uh, I guess Rotom possesses all sorts of things, doesn't he? This is a regular rare. Grass themed Mo Rotom. 90 HP. Got that Roto Motor ability. And the attack here is Special Mo. 60. Discard a special energy from your opponent's active Pokemon. Number 14 out of 156. With that same uh, Pokedex blurb we've seen on the other ones. So, uh, not a Hollow or a GX or anything, but uh, still had not gotten that card before. Then we have Steel, Type Energy, Oranguru, a Drift Blim, and Palpad. Okie dokie. Leafeon, do you have a magic card? Leafeon's been pretty lucky for us so far, and uh, I wonder if we'll get an actual Leafeon at any point in this. Okie dokie. First up, Chimchar. We've got a Pachirisu. Then an Alolan Sandshrew. Alolan Vulpix, Bronzor, ooh, Reverse Hollow Air Roserade, okay, okay, we're getting some luck going here, and our other rare in this pack, okay, yeah, yeah, lucky pack, lucky pack, 
we have a, a scritchy scratchy full art Celestila GX Ultra Beast. Uh, we've not gotten very many Ultra Beasts. Um, so, yeah, really cool. And also that it's like one of the definitely full art scritchy scratchy styles. So cool. Check out that hollow in my super not hollow friendly lighting. <laughs> This Celesteela GX has 200 HP, is, obviously, steel type, has rocket fall as the first attack, 30 plus. This attack does 30 more damage for each energy in your opponent's active Pokemon's retreat cost. And Moon Press does 130 damage. Follow that up with Blaster GX for 180. Turn all your prize cards face up. These prize cards remain face up for the rest of the game. Now you can only use that once, but uh, seems like that would be a nice advantage to have. Number 144 out of 156. Okay, okay, we're getting our luck back here. <laughs> um, also, leave it to Leafeon again. Leafeon is our bro this uh, opening. <laughs> cool. That's going in the binder for sure. Then we've got Water Energy. Escape board. We've actually not gotten that so far. The retreat cost of the Pokemon this card is attached to is one less, and it can retreat, retreat even if it's asleep or paralyzed. And that is an item. Then we have Mount Coronet. And regular Rotom. Alright, Giratina. Do you have some nice stuff in there for us? <laughs> Definitely hoping for some more of the uh, prism cards. Alright, Glammeow is first up, playing with string or yarn there. And then made of yarn, we've got a Drifling. Followed by a cute little Morlaw. A Nebby Kid in the Park. Eggs Egg Cute. Oh. We have a reverse hollow here at Low Punny, which is an uncommon card. And our rare in this pack is a Mag Mortar. Oh, is it a hollow? Yes, it's very difficult to see that it's a hollow, but you can tell right about there. It took me a solid second or two to see that it actually was. It's a pretty subtle hollow in this guy. But yeah, okay, alright. I'll take a I'll take a hollow rare. Mag Mortar here has 130 HP with an ability here called Incandescent Body. This Pokemon is your active Pokemon and is damaged by an opponent's attack. Even if this Pokemon is knocked out, the attacking Pokemon is now burned. We also have Fire Blaster. Fire Blaster 80 plus. You may discard two energy from this Pokemon. If you do, this attack does 80 more damage. That's number 19 out of 156. From its arm, it launches fireballs hotter than 3,500 degrees Fahrenheit. Its arm starts to melt when it fires a whole barrage. Oh, poor guy. Then we have lightning energy. Another escape board, which we didn't get until like last round, but I guess now we keep getting. Cherim. And a magneton. Okie dokie. So that was a that was a pretty good little streak there. We've got five more packs to open in this box. Ooh, is this gonna be a neat open? Uh, uh, not quite. I made it to just this and then it. Then, nope. These packs are not very easy to open neatly. Bunny is going to start us off. Look how cute. Then we have the kind of creepy Carnivine. Is that, is that something good coming up? Is that something good coming up? Oh gosh, okay, let's calm down. And slowly put the pack. Sneasel is next. 
super cute and fluffy Eevee. Magmar. Chinchar. Dawn Wings Necrozma GX. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ultra Beast. Dawn Wings Necrozma GX. In all its glory. 180 HP. Psychic type Ultra Beast. <laughs> oh, number 63 out of 156. With an ability called Invasion. Once during your turn, if this is your po if this Pokemon is on your bench, you may switch it with your active Pokemon. We also have a Dark Flash, 120 damage. This attack's damage isn't affected by resistance. And then for our GX move, Moon's Eclipse, 180 damage. You can use this attack only if you have more prize cards remaining than your opponent. Prevent all effects of attacks, including damage, done to this Pokemon during your opponent's next turn. That sounds pretty useful. Wow, look at that. Beautiful hollow. I'm still not sure if these are technically considered full arts, or if these are just the GX version. I'm not sure. I kind of miss um, when I would get Elite Trainer Boxes, the little um, like informational booklet that came with it. I really think this should come with um, booster boxes as well. Well, that one is going in the binder for sure. And uh, next up we've got Fire Energy. Low Punny. A Unit Energy. This is uh, for Fire, Water, and Leaf. And Luxio. Well then. <laughs> uh... I have no idea what we're going to get these last few packs, but um, I, f I feel like this has already been such a good epi episode video. I don't know. Uh, okay, Solgaleo. What do we got? What do we got? First up we have a Croagunk, then Turtwig, Roselia, Gibble, Electabuzz, our reverse hollow this go round is a Magnemite, which is a common I'm going to say, fuck it, yeah, common. And our rare in this pack is going to be Garchomp, non-hollow, but still a rare. We've gotten him before. We've also got a Fighting Energy, Faulkner, Kranidos. Oh, and then we have the super glamorous Alolan Dugtrio with their long, flowing, golden locks. Not actually gotten them before this point. 60 HP with Gold Rush, for actually no energy. Discard any number of Steel Energy cards from your hand. This attack does 30 more damage for each card you discarded in this way. Ah, uh, I see why then. Then it costs no energy. These Pokemon are cherished in the Alola region, where they are thought to be feminine deities of the land and card. Okay, we're down to our last few. Leafeon, can you pull it on, <laughs> pull it off for us again? Ugh. I don't know why uh, the Leafeon packs have been so good this going. All right, Shinx is going to start us off. Then we have a Carnivine. Crow, Magnemite, Snover. Our reverse hollow here is 
upper ugly. The concept of upper ugly will always kind of make me laugh. Grumpy but cute kitty. And our rare is a Weavile Hollow. All right, all right. So we've not gotten a Weavile yet, and much less a, a Hollow version. Very cool. 90 HP. First attack here is Icy Wind, does 10 damage. Your opponent's active Pokemon is now asleep. And Evil Admonition. 50 times. This attack does 50 damage for each of your opponent's Pokemon that has an ability. They dwell in cold places. This Pokemon's main food source is Alolan Vulpix. Oh, and Sandshrew. Oh. Which they carefully divide among their group. It's kind of mean. Number 74 out of 156. Steel type energy. Chitting. A gum shoes. And shield on. So Leafeon continues to be our uh, lucky pack guy in this opening. Oops, still got two more. Giratina, give her something good. Still holding out for another one of those uh, plasma star guys. Which I think, interestingly enough, were in the uh, reverse hollow slot. That's why I wasn't expecting it when the first one that we got came out. Gab Gibble is first up. Or Jibble. Is it Gibble or Jibble? Is it GIF or JIF? It's GIF. Graphical user interface or whatever. Oh no, that would be gooey. But not Jewy. Anyway. Onward. Skorupi. Lickitung. Chinchar. Pessimian. A gum Gumshoes Reverse Hollow, and that is an uncommon. Our rare in this pack is going to be. Obama Snow. Okay, alright. So, um, not a hollow, but we do not have him yet, so we'll take it. 130 HP. Ability here is Blessings of the Forest. When you play this Pokemon from your hand to evolve one of your Pokemon during your turn, you may attach a Water Energy card from your discard pile to one of your Pokemon. It also has Hypno Hammer, which does 80 damage. Your opponent's active Pokemon is now asleep. It lives a quiet life on mountains that are perpetually covered in snow. It hides itself by whipping up desserts. Number 38 out of 156. Now we have Darkness Energy, a Gabite, a Manaphy, and Yon Mega. And here it is, guys. Final pack of our Sun and Moon Ultra Prism Booster Box. And I did not open that well. Oh, this bodes well. Okie dokie. Yanma is first up. Then we've got Drifloon. A Buizel. Riolu. Uh, uh, okay. Alright, something... Something to, something's under this card. We've got a Gibble. Or a Jibble. But I think it's a Gibble. And then... A Lunala Prism card. Awesomeness. Black Border guy. This Lunala Prism star has 160 HP. And, um... Uh, there is this prism star rule. You can't have more than one prism card with the same name in your deck. So shiny. And I really like the uh, little hollow prism on there. Full moon star is the first attack here. 
for each of your opponent's Pokemon in play. Attach a Psychic Energy card from your discard pile to your Pokemon in any way you like. Then we have Psy Storm. This attack does 20 damage times the amount of energy attached to all Pokemon. Wow. 62 out of 156. Said to live in another world, this Pokemon devours light. Drawing the moonless dark veil oh, drawing the moonless dark veil of night over the brightness of day. Very cool. Alright. And I think we get another chance at a rare card after this. It's a Tapu Lele. Okay. Uh was not expecting these guys to be in this. Um just a regular Tapu Lele, not like a GXEX or anything like that. This Tapu Lele has 110 HP. With an attack here, Psy Wave. This attack does 20 damage times the number of energy attached to your opponent's active Pokemon. And Magical Swap. Move any number of damage counters on your opponent's Pokemon to their other Pokemon in any way you like. And this is a non holo rare. 94 out of 156, so two rares in a pack, and one of those rares was a uh, Prism Star. Cool, cool. This guardian deity of Akala is guilelessly cruel. The fragrant aroma of flowers is the source of its energy. Then we have fire energy. Spiritomb. And a super fancy Alolan Dug Trio. And an Ancient Crystal. Okay, so obviously still some cards that we've not gotten. Ancient Crystal. Oh, nope, I think we actually <laughs> have gotten this card before. Because it's talking about the uh, the Reggies. But yeah, not a bad way at all to end this booster box opening. So let's take a look back at some of the cards we ended up getting. Here are some of our Reverse Hollows, non-rares. And then we've got regular rare Hippodon. We've got regular rare Morotum. We've got reverse hollow rare Roserade. Celestila GX. Full arch puts you scratch your star. Magmortar hollow. Very hard to see the hollow on that one. Then we have. The Dawn Wings Necrozma GX. A Garchomp, non hollow rare. Weevil, Weavile, hollow. Obama Snow, regular rare. Lunala, Prism Star die. And a Tapu Lele, regular rare. So these guys are all going in the binder. And yeah. Thanks for watching all the way to the end if you made it all the way. Uh, I know that some of these can get pretty long. Um, but yeah, we're going to be doing a wrap-up video after this one where I just kind of go through all of the rare cards that we ended up getting uh, throughout this whole booster box as well as doing some more card noise stuff while I sort all of these <laughs> cards alphabetically and by type because I'm a crazy person and uh, chat to you a little bit. So, relaxed wrap-up video coming up next. Thanks if you made it all the way through these. And uh, just gonna finish out this video with a little card sorting and traditional ASMR noises as always. Thanks for listening.